Okay, it's uh, Wednesday, January 19th, 2022. We're going to start the Town of Sagaville Board of Selectmen meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <sighs> Item 2, approval of the minutes. Select Board meeting. 1522 and 1222. Make a motion to approve both. Second vote. All three in favor. Uh, item three review of treasurer's warrants payroll. Three, six, accounts payable 112, four, and five. Make a motion to move. A and B is read. Second. All in favor. All three. Uh, open session. We have no guests. Uh, Old business. We're going to return to the budget. Do we want to pick up where we left off, approximately, or what's the plan? Did you? Um, well, oh, I I got changed on um, the town manager's salary. You wanted it changed. So what I did is I figured half a year, so it'd be about thirty, and then put the so. We, it's 66 on the top for the town clerk and the deputy clerk. Oh, okay. Clerk. Yeah. That should be safe. Mm -hmm. Did you ever get, um, are we kind of jumping around or what are we going to do? Or we probably shouldn't jump around. Well, where do we end? Well, we kind of. Well, we, we skipped around a little bit. I, I mean, I know that we talked about that you wanted to talk about the insurance on uh, town garage, town garage, yes. yes. Yeah. And they have removed the loader. We won't see it because it's a fiscal, it's a fiscal billing, so we won't see it until July. Now with the um, the two trailers and. The bulldozer. What we, two trailers? There's two trailers up there. There's one inside and there's one outside. The one inside is fire departments. Which is another question, I guess. But yeah, it's not town. It shouldn't be under public works. The one that's one out, out. The one that's outside. We deem them, I and we haven't used that thing for. Right. So we can. Well, now we don't even have a way to move it. No, I just assume sell, sell it. it. Yep. I, yeah. I, yeah. We can go down to just liability only, or you can remove. We have pieces of equipment off the policy, including the bulldozer at the trailer. So is the bulldozer covered, it's covered on the building if it's in the building? Correct. So the liability is when we take the bulldozer somewhere else, right. which I we're not going to do because we're selling it. Correct. So in theory, we could remove that and the trailer. Yep. Right? Yep. Because mm -hmm. they're both for sale, right. and they're both covered as long as they're staying on the property. Yep. So, I mean... Yeah, I'd remove them. Okay. Where is that? Just so, uh, what, what, what number is that? Mine. Mm. I was digging to get there. Um, no, I actually kind of skipped over it. Isn't it under 216 or somewhere in that no, wow. division yeah, 10 bubble? Yeah. Oh, or might have been. Okay. Actually, sorry, no, it's actually, uh, we're talking about 231. Next page, I think. No, the mobile equipment insurance, that is for the estimated two, of $10,000 of tools in the um, garage. The auto insurance, is the, it's the one above. So is the mobile equipment insurance when it's not on the property? Yeah, the mobile equipment insurance is tools. Correct, no, I know, but I know. not when it's on the yeah, garage. Yeah, it's inside the, the garage. Right, but it's yeah. covering it when it's not at the garage. Or is it covering it when it's covered in the garage? In the garage. Why wouldn't that be under fire or whatever? And or the building. Yeah, that's what I... Like, if yeah. you took your... Because the, the, the mobile is what's throwing it for me. I agree with you. Because if you... If, like that tool that we use for cutting asphalt. Yep. Okay, if we took that across town and it fell off a truck on the way... We would want it covered, and I think that's right. And that's, that's but we're not doing that anymore. No, 
But I think that's the policy that covered all that stuff. I believe that that, that makes sense. But as long as that tool is in the garage and the garage burnt down... Then it's like a bulldozer. It should be prior to the regular fire and regular building insurance. Unless they're thinking, you know, theft and stuff like that, because those types of things can be stolen as opposed to... Yeah, but that should be covered still just like that microwave over there. Right. If somebody breaks in here and steals that... Um, but mobile, that, See, that that's a tip off right. to me. I think okay. that means that we I will were right. just double check with her again, just make sure. And then the road treatment on line two thirty seven. Yeah, that that's... is. Did you saw the email that? Yeah, that made sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. That, yeah. The the agent she needs to or he or she needs to understand. We don't. We don't move any anything. tools of any kind. All right. We don't have anything all. to do with public works anymore. We contract. Everything every is contracted. Day. And have other than our fire department. Right. So if they're some sort of mobile tool insurance for them, maybe we need to pop it onto their right. budget. It shouldn't be on the road equipment. Correct. And speaking maybe of, it's categories more than right, uh, right. right. Okay. Yeah. But speaking of fire department, if you want to go back, we did cut that. Oh, you met with Chad. Yes. Okay. But yeah. uh, what number is that? Well, we went. Uh, that's going to be um, one line one oh six, one oh five. It's gone from 71 down to 64. Well, that was worth meeting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. So it was the salaries that got. Yeah, but we dropped it down. It was 32 for down to 30, 30, 30. I still would like to have a better understanding of where that salary money went because our numbers are down. Did, did he did he explain why there was such a bump up there when no, we I had mean, fewer people? I I have the I have all the, the hours. I break that down myself too. But we're actually up to eighteen. But back then they were sixteen. So on the there's eighteen now on the mm -hmm. roster. Now. Now. Hmm? Now. Mm -hmm. But I would you know I would like to know where and why. Mm. It's still, it's, it's a big increase from 20 to 21. 20 to 21. You mean 6,000? Yeah. yeah. And also, too, minimum wage went up again. Yeah, but it's not 6,000. No. And we're still looking at, I still question under equipment. I mean, we barely spent $3,000 a year, and he's got that at nine. And that's the tanks they need, which is, um... Oops, sorry. But it's the tanks that we've heard that we've needed for years that we haven't been buying, so... I... Well, and the thing that is... We talked about this last time, but it looks like we, we pulled from the equipment bucket and overspent on the salary side. And um, was there an explanation for that, or did you guys mm -hmm. talk about that? No. 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 I don't think they really look at it as line items. I think they look at it as a total. Well, I mean, they, they don't look at it that way when they're presenting us a budget. No, they don't. And I, I agree with you. I'm just right. saying. I, I mean, but that's, it is looked at this is their budget. rationale right. when they present the budget, sure. and then it's not followed. Correct. And then the uh, the building maintenance is that bumped way up. See that? It's the same deal. They it's budgeted. The same deal. They budget two thousand every year, but they never spend it. Right. They spend it on something else. They spend it somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. And you probably go over there and styrofoam is still out the ceiling. The floor was sitting there. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what's going on. Mm -hmm. Basically, they're using these categories to create a number, mm -hmm. and then they mm -hmm. they use the total. Wherever they want to. Right. And, and then we over. revisit the same category again next year. Yeah, because you can see it's over. Right. I mean, it's a substantial increase. Uh, so what's the... Uh, are we... Do you want us to meet with Chad before we present this to the budget committee? I mean, what do you think? Well, maybe we can... Well, you... Yeah, because I would like—I'd be curious to see what the budget committee is going to say as well, too. But maybe we do need to have a meeting with Chad. 
Well, I, I, I prefer to have yeah. clarity on these questions before <coughs> we present. Yeah. Because so, they're going to ask the same questions we're asking, so we might as well have answers for them. I want to present a number, the, my own opinion. I want to send something to the budget committee that I'm okay for them to pass. Right, right, right. I don't want to send right. them a number where they need they're to question. Cut it. Right. That's right. Yeah, that's the same. That's kind of what cut we've it. established. We I want to cut it for all it's worth, and then if they can find a few more thousand to cut good, a question, good for them. that's yeah, that's right. great. Right. But I mean, the argument, if you were sitting here, is, you know, it, sorry, you can't budget to that. I mean, I guess we can't, though, discuss, we, we can't say, well, your equipment, building maintenance has always come in around, let's just, you know, average. Even if you said 500. Mm -hmm. um, so that number has got to be now 500. That, uh, that I think is, it should be 1,000. I mean, something closer to reality. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. a and, budget is supposed to be... Right. And if he says, oh, well, that, you know, what, that ends up somewhere else, well, then that's on the wrong line. Right. This isn't an accurate line item. Right. Um, budget. And as far as bottles this year, and we need to spend $9,000, mm -hmm. many years ago, we've had many conversations about this. You really need to have a list of what you have over there and when it expires and you plan ahead. You don't mm -hmm. you don't hit a big expenditure in one year. You mm -hmm. you do this so it's over time. Right. And again, if our numbers are decreasing, I mean he actually referenced that the future is probably two guys. Right. Why do we need all these bottles? You know, we need to figure out how to get to the future, not right. deal with reality here. All right. And then the mobile equipment, he's got that a thousand dollars less than what they've spent historically. <clears throat> because they're 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 gonna get a grant for Oh they are for the additional oh, okay. ten sixty. Yeah. Did they come to us and ask if they could get the grant? <laughs> I mean I know that's what they want to do is get a grant. Do we, did they did they get a grant or we don't know? No, no, no they haven't. You can't budget in hopes of getting a grant. That's not how it works. Right, right. I mean, did electricity go up fifty percent? That's what it's. I'm waiting to see a January bill just so I can so I Our can better. Our bill didn't go up. Yours didn't. I, 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 I mean, my, my, my home my, has my, gone up, but not fifty percent. Yeah, I'm really waiting for the January bills to come in to to tweak that better. Yeah, I mean, that's... Yeah. Uh, if and if you, it is, it is. But that, you uh, that, plug those numbers in. Yeah. yeah. From the, the, right, right. the 11 cents and the 9 cents. Yeah, yeah I don't think they're going to be anywhere near that. Yeah. yeah. If so, you guys, <laughs> the cost of uh, fabric is about to go up. Cost of everything. <laughs> so... Well, I guess I mean we'll it's, still, it's, this process. Yeah. If we're gonna if we're gonna use this process of, of line item type budgeting, it seems like it needs to be followed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we're just kind of sure. Let's throw the whole thing in a way. Yeah, it's we'll just, just kind of a dance, the right? of everything. A little kabuki dance. Um, I mean, I know a town meeting. They start talking about all this, and the end is, well, we'll just give you the approve the bottom number. Well, at town meeting, that's what you're supposed to do is approve the bottom. Um, number. Right. But I right. still, when I have to. Do payables, you have to put it into the right bucket. The right. right bucket. Right. right, but I guess if that's the way it's got to be approached, I'm just as soon look back and say, okay, let's just do 55 again. We just look at the bottom number. Because it's, I guess it needs to be validated. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'll just, I would just vote to go back to 55. Mm -hmm. So when you do payables, um, that you you obviously you, we've got line items right so I take it by you, line item right what they right. what they purchased or what yes what right. was spelled out I go by line item right right well and at the end of the day yeah, yeah that's how you end up in a how they go over their budget because they don't watch line items right no it was over by two percent right and this isn't the first time and so, we really yeah. aren't supposed to go over at all no. No, because now we're going to have to do. The, and that's it's going to come out of our. 
Yeah, I mean, we basically, uh, it's, it's just not acceptable. It's not the way we, we're going to do it. Um, well, should we have Chad come in and we'll I think we hammer it out with him yeah. and yeah. tell him it's, we're going to do it differently, that, well, that we're going to start no, sticking to the... No, we're going to do it the right way, the mm -hmm. way we're supposed to be. Right. 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 Yeah, I mean, we 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 expended less than fifty grand in twenty. Then we jumped to fifty six grand, up fifty seven thousand dollars, really in twenty one. And now we want to go up another nine thousand dollars. I mean, we're we're going parabolic on this budget for a department we almost didn't have. Correct. We were we were a few months ago. We were ready to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. start mothballing, and I I think he's really. I mean, he's committed for until uh, twenty twenty five. Mm -hmm. But after that, we don't really have any sort of an extended plan. Mm -hmm. No. So I would like to see this more okay, we'll get professional. No, I, not only that. To me, I mean, we've looked at every other area of the town, and we've trimmed anywhere and everywhere mm -hmm. we can. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I don't really think that that's happening. Mm -hmm. No. And I think there's some areas, whether it be in wages or whatever, that they could do some trimming mm -hmm. and really look at numbers. So I mean, we don't I believe we have more firefighters in 20 than we had last year, mm -hmm. and yet we spent a lot more money on wages. That that doesn't seem. I mean, I guess if you had a lot more calls, I mean, maybe that would be the how you would. Well, and that's why I mean I don't. I sent that thing out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so he does I like the spreadsheet. Okay. I think that would be nice because then you could really going forward, and we're going to see. You know, you're spending sixty-five thousand dollars, and seventy-five percent of it is getting spent in Sangerville, which right. would be great. Right. Then you say, okay. Yeah. Even even if it's assisting other communities, at least if you could say, oh no, you know, in twenty we had fifty calls, sure. but this year we had twenty percent. Increasing calls that explain okay, that's right. rational. I right. can right. get, but right. we don't we have any something right. utilization numbers yeah. at all. So, we should start implementing that. I mean, when effective this year, I would say, yeah, let's, let's do I that. Mean, if Chad's on board with it, I'd do it now. Yeah, he liked it. So. Yeah, let's. Yeah. I whipped it out on Excel so that way, here with the formula. So, every month, if you plug in two, it oh, adds it to your total. So, you perfect. don't even, I mean, we're only a few I mean? weeks into the year, he should be able to back it right. up. Yeah, oh, yeah, let's yeah, because yeah, we only have well, yeah. And I'd put it on the town's website. I'd, yeah, I'd keep it there, and I'd, I would have fire department right on here. And yeah, be yeah. There. so, that yes. we so can every see month, it. every meeting, it's yeah. on there. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Okay. Then we can tell where we're going. Yep. And he, I'm sure he has all that data from last year. If he can, you could plug that. If in he can backfill sure. one so that we have a little history, that would be great. Yeah, I mean, I have some of the data right on. If you guys can help him. Yeah. Super. Yeah. But every I mean, call is a record lines. of every call, right? Yeah. So let's let's build. I just come up with years. generic categories because I didn't want anybody to be able to finger point anything. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's why I didn't get want to too, go too involved. And, right. and if he wants to tweak the look of the thing, that's right, fine. Right. He's the chief. Right. Yeah. 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 That was just different. my idea. That does not have to be right. how we what he uses. So whatever was going to uh, accurately convey. The activity. I right. think that's really. I think it would be helpful. It, it's in their best interest because then they can validate if if we see that there's more activity. You say, okay, great. It's. But, uh, but we have no no validation of it, any no, of this. Not only that, the his the historical expenditures raise questions. So not there's no rhyme or reason to it. There may be, right. but we don't have but it. We, we don't have it. So. All right. All right. But I don't want to slow this whole thing down for very long. No. no. Me neither. No. I want to wrap this up. Okay. Uh, where to next? I guess we're going to meet with Chad. Chad, yeah. At I'll his convenience. I mean, okay. whenever we yeah. can do that. I'll set something up for them. Yeah, I've, I've got the audit next week, so. And if you've got numbers or can break down anything as far as payroll, mm. of course, the school over before then. I do have that from yep. last year. That would be good. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I've got it by category five. Yeah, even, oh, that would be even good. if you could get great, uh, yeah. 20 yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. I can, I've yeah. got that on my computer actually. So. Did you. The only other question I remember we had was salt. Did you get any feedback on that? 
salt? From Chris. No, but we just got another delivery of salt, though. Yeah, but that's yeah, just, that, that doesn't was, matter. Yeah. I think it's, it has to do with how we're mixing the pile. That's my, that's my opinion. Well, the only other explanation I could come up with is the winter pr previous was so mild that we had a bunch left. And so you bought it, but you didn't use it. And then you used it in the following year. You buy year, it as it comes. Yeah, yeah but if we didn't use of, it, you, you, buy you, can only, you can't get a load in the shed. You can't. No. So we don't store it. I mean, you, get, you can only put like a half, three quarter of a load in there. Makes no sense. So what I'm thinking, and I'm trying to remember, but I think when we did 19, that's when we tore the whole pile down. We re-salted the pile, and we came up with this new ratio that we was going to use to put it on better because of the sand that we had. And I think, I'm guessing, that we took that number and used that as our budget number going forward. And I would say when you look at what we spent on sand compared to what we used on salt, I would probably say we don't use that same ratio. You should know. That, that's why. All right. What number are you on? Oh, I was on 199. Uh, I noticed on 153, electricity, again, we've got that same magnitude of increase. Yeah, so we yeah, want to... Every, every building. Yeah, yeah, every electrical... We, I don't know that that's going to happen. I hope it doesn't, but... And I got to... And you want me to venture with the um, oil, right? With because I found out that wasn't that was discussed very briefly in September. Yeah, he he basically asked, okay. yeah. could, can I can we keep the loader in there, and, and can we heat it? Okay. I'll pay the oil. Okay. Whatever he said, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, oh, the other thing, really quick, when you talked to Chad, did you discuss anything to do with going away from using that tank at the town garage? No, I don't even know what the. I'm not sure what you mean by the tank anyway. So. There's a tank outside of the town garage with diesel. Oh, with the, diesel. oh no, I didn't. The diesel. I, I you meant fuel. You meant yeah. fuel tank. Okay. So we talked before about selling that tank and getting rid of it. Right. And you can get a generic. It's not even a debit card. You can call Robinson's yep. and get a Robinson's card, and that will work in the pumps right at the yeah, gas right station, 24 hours a day. Yep. Mm -hmm. Issue. What, one card to one card. the fire chief? Or whatever the chief says he needs, but yes, it's, it's no different using that card right, than right. if he's giving him a key to a tank than anybody. You know, I think it, there's more accountability with the card because then it's all... You've got a documentation. Yep. Yep. Right now, you don't have nothing. Yeah, we don't have two of Yeah, no, they, if, if he needs two cards, three cards, That's they still okay. own them. They're all, he knows which it's, three people yep, have them. It's going to be a, through <laughs> Robinson's for the town of Sangamil, and you're going to have X amount of cards issued. And, and then get rid of the... And the only diesel that we use will be for, for fire, fire protection. That's Correct. it. That's um, all we've been using for right now. Back to this electricity thing. One thing you might do when you get this, when you get this month's bill, well, you bet you can even look at December's bill. Just compare it to last year. Is it 50% more? Mm, yeah. I mean, so. it, that should be pretty noticeable. Yeah, it was a big jump in December, but yeah, okay. I will check that. Double check one more time on the figures on that. Out, out. Okay. I'm surprised that even the garage up there, that electric numbers even that high. I, know. I mean there's nothing. I You're know. paying it's flat very, rate. It's nothing. very normal. Right. Yeah. There's nobody there. There's nothing on. Yeah, you wouldn't think you would there's really nothing plugged in, right? I wonder if the there's hot no water heater? I wonder if the hot water heater is plugged in. What that uses yeah. for hot water. The water's on. I mean Yeah it is. Oh. I mean there's gotta be something up there. It's the only thing I'm just trying to what would be drawing power. So there's a heated area, a heated bay, correct? Mm -hmm. And that's the one that Warren's using. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the very first. There's a bathroom. And that's oil. Bay. Yeah, All that's oil, oil, not propane. No, it's oil. But you're right, electricity shouldn't be much more than a candle. No, but I bet the hot water heater, you know, that's, I'm guessing, don't know. But you're not even drawing any hot water. I mean, it's just cycling. I know, but that's, I mean, you it doesn't need to. Take a 10-year-old hot need water heater. No, I'm saying that, but it shouldn't water. be much money. Not if it's a good hot water heater. No, you're right. I mean, it's if it's dripping hot water. I mean, well, no, you know running what I'm water, right? I, I just don't know what right. else it could be up there drawing. Right, right. That's all. Are there outside lights on all the time? Security lights. Yeah, I think there is a dust of dawn on the front of that. I mean, those old mercury vapors pull yeah. pretty hard. Yeah, they do. That could be it. Well, I don't know. 
that's worth, that's, well. And then getting we, back, if we do get rid of that tank, the insurance, we did talk about that, we'll you know, yeah. whether. To help you fire. Right. Come on, get that done. Right. Um. And. I'm sure you haven't had any opportunity to talk to uh, asphalt people. Oh, yes, I have. Wow, that's great. Yes. Um, believe it or not, the only one that got back to me, actually, he even came in yesterday, was Jeff from Pikes. Okay. Oh. Um, he reclaimed grade, base paved two inches, and surface paved one inch would be around 450000 based on eighteen feet wide on silver mills. The in-town streets would be around 90,000. And he suggested the town decide if to do silver mills, he would wait the following year to place the surface. This would allow for a settlement to occur. And that would save about 130,000. That's what we did. Well, yeah, that's what we did on the first half. I'm surprised he quoted that with a one inch top because he knows we've never done it. We don't do a one inch top. It was the one inch and a half on the top. But. 90 for all the in town? That's what he put. Just paid. He said it'd be around 90. Yeah. Just, mm -hmm. what, uh, did he give, how much, is that an inch? Is that just a. No, he just, just a, he just said 90. Yeah. yeah. So if, even if we budget 100 grand for that, um, 556, 600 is probably. Well, no, because you would, if you want to go with the theory of, you're just going to reclaim and do your two-inch binder. Well, yeah, year. if you want to wait. Yeah, do if you want to wait and do the other. But, you know, we didn't wait the second half of East Sagerville. With the first half, we waited. Second half, we did all of it this year. True. And typically, we don't wait. Right. Yeah, most, I don't think most towns do. And I'm not sure why. I'm not sure. I don't know. If you're reclaiming, the settling should be pretty much taken care of. I mean, they, they roll the hell out of it. I wonder if you just kind of put that as a budgetary, this might help you. Correct. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. More so mm -hmm. than spread, mm -hmm. spread the pain. Mm -hmm. yeah. But let's assume that you, you, it would it'd be a viable job. It, 650 is a pretty reasonable mm -hmm. total number for that. Yep. Um, which is way, way off what we were this year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of close to what we guesstimated. Yep. yep. I mean, we were throwing yep. out some numbers earlier. So pretty close. Yeah, I, and <clears> I think <throat> I think that's a good number. Mm. I, don't, I don't have a problem with that. And I think being I able like to say that. we're going to do the in town, a lot of people will be very pleased with that. Right. Yeah. Just yeah. we just have to check with so district. Yep. Yeah. Well, well they got to be notified in yeah. advance because mm -hmm. they yeah. get some of their work. They get to lift do. all their. And do we that. when we put it on the warrant? Do we do we break it up or no? As far as I'd leave it as one because okay. if they're gonna when you explain what you're gonna do, they'll they don't want to do in town, they'll drop a hundred. If they don't mm -hmm. want to do in town and don't want to do Silver's Mills, they'll drop four hundred and fifty. Okay, yeah. That's kinda how I would Yep, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, if you break it up it's gonna it could get broken up. Sure. Okay, that's right. But either way that's it does the same thing. thing. Yeah, they it, no it would, if you put it all in at six fifty and uh, they vote to pass half that, we can only spend Right. Whatever we can spend. Right. So. Okay. But right. I think I think we'll be able to make that proposal and still not have a, a crazy increase in our mill rate. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe that we should be able to put that together. That's that's my hope. I guess that, that might change my <laughs> yeah my willingness to yeah. present yeah. this yeah. if that's not the case. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of. So I didn't change that, as you can see. You I did? No, I just oh, left okay. it with first, but you need to... Where is that now? Um, you would start with line 222. Okay, 222. Okay. That one? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we're going to put 650 Oh, and also on the balance due. Actually, you got to go seven. Yeah, yeah I got to go, go seven. Go, yeah, yeah, okay, I still think we ought to have, we still need to have a bigger conversation before we get through budget about that, but. So. But yes, yeah, for our purposes, seven. Mm -hmm. Yep. Got it. And uh, again, once we get to the end of this, if we're right. not happy with, with we'll, we'll just, that number will get smaller. Right. <laughs> A nice goal. Yeah. That's with the additional twenty-five. Mm -hmm. Nice. That'll go over well. Be the car that's sitting in the middle of the road and they're trying to plow. Oh, geez. If I was oh, going to yeah. guess, there was a car on the road when I came in. Maybe it's just an oversight, but the electricity didn't get boosted for a oh. <laughs> wreck. That's probably a flat fee up there. I don't, I'm guessing. I don't know that. But, but why would it be flat? Mm -hmm. I mean, if your kilowatts what, went up 50%, what, what it's going to go that? up. Yeah. That's right. But yeah. 267. It's, uh, 267. Yeah, I got it right here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is line 270? 270. Needs to, that is to take care of the things I was told, like removing the old equipment and like soccer and the soccer nets and things like that. So, well, I don't think it's for it's for general field maintenance. Is that a property maintenance? It doesn't get spent. Mm -mm. Well, it did. Back in 2019. But I think back then it was being used for other things. That's when we had the right. heart to heart, come to Jesus, whatever, right. as far as this is a, we have a field, you have a rec league. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that's when we made that line to. Because I should just, it should be lowered to 500. Unless we, unless we specifically there's... know of something that needs to be done. I mean, I'm not aware of no, anything. No, no, there's a few things that need to be hauled off, and that's it. Right, but I mean, yeah. you're not talking a lot of money. No, no. Again, did you put these numbers in, or were these provided to you? No, I put them in. You put them in. Oh, okay, okay. I was just kind of copying from the... So the rec committee yeah. still hasn't said anything about anything that they mm -hmm. mentioned or anything like that. Okay. So, yeah, I like that. So you're going to bump, be, it be, end up being... Uh, 47, right? It'd be lower to 2,000. Two It'd be 47. Mm -hmm. And the majority of it's for porta potties and mowing. But the reality is that's really the most that we're. That's all they, yeah. It's porta potties and mowing. Mm -hmm. That's it, really. I mm -hmm. mean, picking up. Mm -hmm. You know, and I called them and they couldn't even give me an estimate, so that's why I left it at 1600 as far as what the price would be next year. For the potties? Yeah. Well, I think it probably depends, too, on when they pull in the doubles and go to a single and Correct. all that stuff. Correct. And as far as picking up 
you know, busted toys. I, it, to me, that's not a lot different than if a tree fell down over mm -hmm. there. We'd have to hire a contractor to come over right. and clean up the mess and get right. it out of there. Yeah, and there's uh, a few things that need to be... There's popular. something laying on the ground that really should just be taken to the dump. Right. It's a, it's like a, something children would climb on, like a tree. Oh, right in thing. the front? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, but it was planted in cement, and it's, now it's laying on the ground. So we it was, should, Yeah, I heard it was disc golf or something. But somebody's just going to take it. And, yeah. I mean, even if, yeah, whatever. Even if we went to five. Go to 47 is fine, but. I still think there's going to, 269 is going to come back and bite us, but just saying. 269. Mm. The, I can show you how it's written up. I but, understand. Yeah. I'm just. Mm. Still the same amount of money spread out. It just, the category just, just that ended up in that. Mm -hmm. Well, so in that, in that theory, if you took $1,200 away from what we spent last year, we'd really, as far as for what you're saying, to spread the mowing out comparably, that means we only spent 4000 there, expended last year. Mm. Oh, but, but last year it was... It was it all was in that bucket. It, 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 right, right. And, right. So we, and this year it got separated differently. Right. But so it's, it's the still the same, same amount. amount. Right, 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 right. Sure. Right. But that's what I'm saying. The $1,200 from, there's $1,200 in that mowing line under that that really wasn't used for there. It was in other areas. So it's oh, not like I see, the. I see what you're saying. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what so you're saying. So if he would have done the same thing on the mowing right. thing last year. Right. It'd be yeah. that their bottom line would have been right four thousand. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, and most of your increase is porta potties. And, yep, yeah, and I, I forgot the line uh, 296 is a different. I didn't change that 296 mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Okay. to zero. Yep. I think. Yes. Yeah. We, so, so we haven't heard from anybody. Oh well. <laughs> oh. Has well, anybody we have, we have got a request from? We, yeah. Has any? Has there been any other requests? I know sometimes we do have. Yeah, food. We used no. to have a list of people. Yeah, yeah, no. no. She I'm got. Town manager received a letter that said the Sanville Historical Society is asking for $1,000 from the town in 2022 to help cover rising costs of insurance and utilities. We also need to do some improvements to the museum this summer. The society very much appreciates the help the town provides us each year. We in turn try to make the town a welcoming place to visit and stay. Um, I, I, I think I would reach out to her and let her know that right now we're not inclined to do anything, but if she wants to come in and meet with us, they certainly would be welcome to do that. What do you guys think? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's only, if she sent a letter, it's only fair to respond. Right. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. I will. Have you heard anything yet on school budget? I called yesterday and she does not know. I, I spoke to Roxanne. However, it had gone down last year from what, it, so she's thinking it should be roughly, she's hoping around the same. That's why I, I did it at 760. You know, it's interesting, the county got some of these recovery funds. Yeah. A, yeah. a big bucket of money. I, I'm expecting that probably they'll lean a little lighter on the communities. Let's hope so. No, well, yeah, because the, the tax I mean, went up. Oh, so they did? No, no, if you look, it went up. <laughs> it did? You yeah. got yeah. that number. I had already No, that out. is, yeah, that is our number. I called. So why wouldn't that push through? Say that again, Mike, sorry. The county's got a... a, a Bucket of relief a, money. A nice injection of relief money, just like the towns did and the state did. Mm -hmm. But yet the, the amount of money they're asking from the communities didn't get reduced. That's because they spent it. 
that's kind of my point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they just pissed away on whatever they wanted to do, honestly. Which I don't understand that. I don't either. I just don't know how you can... I don't know how you can be a department that's paid for by taxpayer dollars and receive money and just decide to spend it. Right. Willy nilly. Without any sort of accountability. Right. And nothing come and, back and to nobody. any... None of the communities were asked anything. Right. I'd like to know what they got. Or what we got, I should say, because it was it's You're our exactly county right. got this money. What did what did we get? What did, I mean, I think, how much I think are we going to save yeah. from this? Yeah. Right. <laughs> save I mean, they back they back paid a lot of the county employees, gave them emergency relief relief pay with a lot of the money. Well, these we had paid all of the employees. We weren't behind on paying. No, it was a it was a like a ben um, it was a an addition a gift. an addition a gift. Yeah. Is solely what it was. And I just wouldn't, I don't... No, I'd be spread more... And I understand they're in a hazardous situation, but there's a lot of other people in our county that right. had to work through all right, of that right. and, and had to deal with a lot of situations, and none of them got an extra benefit. Right. So I just don't think it's right that they did that myself. But Well, I, I, it, I wonder if they had, obviously they believe they had the authority to. I'm a little surprised that they even do. I mean, I know we don't. Correct. If if we just decided to take the hundred eighty thousand and said, you know, we're just going to bonus employees, well, I think we, that's we wouldn't have the authority what, to do that. I think that's a great idea. We ought to take that hundred eighty thousand dollars, and we're just going to say, Dale, Jody, and Mike get sixty thousand dollar emergency. <laughs> well, don't forget, Lord. I was going to say, don't throw me in there, okay, too. <laughs> right, but I mean, how do you how do you right. do that? Right. I mean, who do, who do we ask? Who do we ask? Who is accountable? Well, we have, we, actually, lot. you call, we should probably should send an email to the commissioner and just one of, one of them and ask them, how does this work? Because mm. we can't do that. Because, mm. I mean, that, that money all went into general fund. That, that didn't come in in a manner that we could spend it mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And but I, the number you're using is a number they gave they, you. Oh, yeah, I called them. That is our number. We will be getting a bill for that amount. See, another thing happened over this period that really should be reflected in here. Um, we voted to uh, uh, renovate the, the key bank building and turn that into the sheriff's department. Right. After, and simultaneously, they that got a check for the credit union to offset virtually the entire purchase of the building. Right. That, that should be reflected in this budget. So we authorized, they didn't reduce the bill, right? No. So there's another big bucket of money that it just seems to just disappear. But not only that, through COVID, things changed on who and how they were housing people. Um, a lot of people weren't going to Dover to the jails like they were in the past. So I, I would think a lot of expenses and things were less during COVID. And, you know, a lot of things could be run through the lab anymore. So a lot of that stuff should have gotten reduced. So a lot of things as a whole should have gone down at the county level from COVID. But... I'm, it's I'm, a big I'm number. Sorry. I'm just surprised. I'll send out an email tomorrow and, listen, and see what I can get for a response as far as. So who do you email? Like, I'll call them first and ask. The county. One of them's well, one of them. white. Yeah, one lives in Guilford. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's probably a good place to start. Yeah. I think he's the chair, isn't he? I mean, it'd be nice if you could come in and we could ask him a bunch of questions. See well, if they or could... we go to his meeting. Like, um, yeah. But yeah. And maybe, uh, maybe the way... County government is set up is just completely different than the, well, clearly because we're not even allowed to do what they do. No, so that's probably. But we don't know if they are either. <laughs> well, we know they're doing it. We know they are doing things that we could not do. But, Correct. Uh, yes. You're assuming that. <laughs> right. We know they're, they're doing things that do we wouldn't. We wouldn't attempt to do. Right. I guess is a. But they may be old. I don't know. It just seems odd. Uh, yeah, I, I'm assuming that they can, but. I, that's I don't have any evidence beyond the fact that they're actually doing it. Mm -hmm. But when I saw even that when we voted on that new building for the sheriff's department, and I think it was like simultaneously the credit union, <clears throat> and I'm like, well, why is this question still on the ballot? Yeah. Well, it's too late to change the ballot. Right. But I thought for sure that we would all get an adjustment to our, our, county bill. our bill. We approved something that was costing us X, and then a. Uh, Hundred and forty or what? Was it one hundred and forty grand? Wasn't it? It was. It was a 
big What's chunk of money. You know. Well, I you, mean, were, you approved to spend X amount of money to buy the building. Correct. correct. And then the building got bought as a charitable donation from the credit union. And we didn't get an adjustment. No. And we're not seeing any sort of anything along the way. No, now, we, maybe it's just maybe this year's budget would be X amount more if we hadn't gotten that right, donation. Six, but it would be nice to, yeah, I guess, yeah. to be able to convey that along with these recovery funds. Right. Yep. I mean, goodness, where would we be if we hadn't had the recovery funds and the donation? I mean, the county is next to the school. There's it's a big, it's, it's a big. Well, two thirds of our entire budget. Yeah, yeah. From what I've seen, a lot of the recovery money went to things that wasn't budgetarily or part of the budget. Didn't they didn't use the funds for anything to offset budgetary costs? It certainly feels that way. So, mm -hmm. anyway, we're not gonna. We, we're going to have to live with what we have. It's just... It would be nice to have a little bit more clarity there. For sure. See, I put two things in there. <laughs> Those are just, I'm still working on the revenues, but... And I will reach out to Chad and find out what would be good. Yeah. That would be. And you didn't plug in the revenues, uh, not revenues, but the um, transfers, the, you know, the, all of our. No, um, when uh, we do the budget. Okay. 340. This is not really there. I Interest see. fees, tax liens. Mm -hmm. What did you say, Dad? 1340. That's down uh, quite a bit from. We had a lot of sales and checks. property, too. Well, and people got checks sent to them. Mm -hmm. Oh, and so people paid their bills. Correct. Mm -hmm. I get it. Well, yeah. I, think, I know, I also think that you're seeing a, a lot of the people that are moving into the area are more business related or, or working different. So they would be more inclined for the 2% or, you know, mm -hmm. than, mm -hmm. than what we've had in the past. Mm -hmm. So that might be something to think about on that side too. Be interesting to see that when we get there. We definitely have a lot less old this year. Is that right? That's interesting. Yeah, we do. Huh. C three forty three still real money. Well, that's I was just looking at that, and. I was just going to ask Mike, um, you know, are rates going up enough that we can talk to them about? I mean, a CD? That's actually a good rate. What is our rate? Does it have our rate? Well, I mean, if we're going to get 9000 did she tell you that? No, that's what I estimated from just from last year. Oh, well, I, oh, yeah. I wouldn't. 9100 yeah. last year. Yeah. It was $91. it has been... Check with them. Just see what they're going to renew it. It should yeah. be higher. Well, no, no. no. It's, no. You got another year to go. No. I mean, it's moved over the last few weeks, <clears> but. Yeah, not, not, not like it used to. Uh, I mean, and, you're, and I'm, we're looking daily, we're looking at like the 10 year. Right. This thing is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, I don't we're think we have any commitment at all. No, we have no commitment. So it's on a day to day yeah. money market. Do you know how much money is in there? That's the, the balance that's I pulling got interest? I, I've got it in the okay. office. Okay, but we were yeah, we we're going to get to that because we wanted a total, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, reserve. Oh yeah, you'll fill that in. Yeah, I haven't filled it in a long time. Three forty nine. That's an interesting number. Three forty nine. Yeah. <clears throat> with the rising cost of someone being well, that was last year. I don't know what this year is going to be. No, I'm just yeah. saying with the rising cost of snowmobile registration compared to in years past. Oh, yeah. It's and that number from 19 to 20, we're just mm -hmm. going yeah. 21, just mm -hmm. going down. I mean, it's kind of showing that the sport's not really growing in the area like mm -hmm. it used to be. It's kind of expensive. It's, yeah. I mean, it's not a... It's not, it's not a... It's not a family sport anymore. Mm -hmm. not, a, not a middle income sport. No. Yeah.
355 went up a little. What is 358? When we were part of that MSW there, we used to get a quarterly check back. You don't anymore. For like recycled stuff? Yeah. Um, well, this is perfect, so that's what it's going to mean. I don't know what that is. What's the 359? Is that the stickers? That is the stickers. Hmm? And they charge us. Mm. Do we, they charge us a dollar? And we charge a dollar. Oh. And that's the first bunch we got, and we'll be getting more. Mm -hmm. How many did you end up with extras? Do you any idea? We didn't have any extra last Really? Year. No, we had to keep calling. Really? Wow. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> we didn't get the reimbursement for GA in the state this year. The, last year, twenty one. Yeah, we did three hundred ninety two. Talk about 366. Yeah, so the oh. line above. 366 is it just on the wrong line. Yeah, because it's that's that's well, 392. Well, GA uh, no, it's going to go under. It's going to go under 26. We only had one last year. So there was nothing on, no. on 366. No. Correct. Oh, correct. Huh. So is that because, I mean, back in them years, we, we used to shell out a lot more into that, right? Is that why? Because more of it, we were paying out more, but more of it was eligible for reimbursement. reimbursement. Is, right. it, is it a formula for reimbursement? This, yeah, th this one was for a funeral expense, so it's a different, it's different. Okay. That's okay. why it's on that line. So but when we do payment. GA, do, does the state reimburse us? Yeah, it's 70%. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So it's 70%. Yeah. Okay. It is percent. Gotcha. So there should have been some, right? I mean, of our Jeep, we didn't get anything that qualified for it? The only one was the one on that line 26 oh, okay. for the funeral. Do we have to keep all of these line items on here that Smart aren't us. anything? <laughs> I know, I was thinking about removing them. If you know. we, don't, if we don't need them. No. We, I'm no, gonna the answer is no, we don't. Those lines. I mean, this Zemo. is our form, right? Right. 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 It's, yeah. it's just to help us. And if, if you're not if you're not going to utilize that category, it's not helping you. If we haven't budgeted any, if we haven't expended anything in the last two or three no, years, yeah, yeah, then yeah, we no, don't need it. We don't need no. it. Drop them. Just drop them. Clean but it up. So then, but the numbers... The on that side changes, but yeah, I see. I just make sure that it doesn't right, change right. my formula. Right, right, right. Got it. It doesn't usually doesn't. And the smart trust with oh, is that the that that's the, oh. yeah that yeah. It's a little bit less every year, but yeah. Hmm. And, and the homestead reimbursement, how do we come along? Well, I, I called and spoke with um, Josh, and he said, oh. there's not really any formula, you just... You just wing it. Kind of plug in what you had last year. Oh, okay. But, you know, we had a lot of sales last year, too, so there's going to be some homestead that's not going to be... Well, it's going it, to it's gonna be less than it was. <clears throat> yeah. And we must have sold... We sold a lot. We must have sold 20. Yeah. Last year. Last year. Yeah. Sold a lot of 20. So, I mean, those 20 are not going to be under Homestead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Because the first year, unless they were from Maine, no. unless they were from Maine. Oh, and they can transfer it. No. Yeah, yeah they can. If they're from Maine and they were a homesteader. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I called. Yeah. yeah. That's what I found out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as long as they drop it on their other. Right. I don't think I would want to keep it the same though. Yeah, I mean because we budgeted sales. we budgeted one ten as far as revenue. Yeah. It was only hundred and two. That's that's a right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I'd want to say ninety this year. Yeah, yeah. I I'd, I'd shoot lower. That's what I yeah. mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thoughts there, Flipper? <laughs> no. We no thought. No thoughts about that? <laughs> nope. I wasn't listening. Okay. <laughs> so we were talking about I was thinking that too, about 90. We were talking about homestead reimbursement. Reimbursement. Mm -hmm. So line 378 with a volume of home sales last year. And the likelihood of many of them not being eligible for homestead exemption this year. And then when you look at, we budgeted 110.6 last year and we only got 102. I think somebody was just hoping that we would pick up more, but I think you'll find that's well, when the home just, sales started and they yeah. started falling off. They're going to have less. So. Yeah, but aren't those going to feed through? I mean, those that couldn't do it last year will be able to do it this year. Right. Is it just one year? That's it? Yes. Yeah, you're living it one year. Full, 12 so you're going to have. Full year. If, full year. if your theory's right, it's going to catch up. Next year. This year. This year. If this year. sales. If the sales if your anniversary gets this June, month, then it ain't going to count this year. Right. It has to be before April. You, Correct. Well, if you, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but yeah, you yeah. could apply last year. Right. And when, when your anniversary hits, as long as it's before April, you're going to get Correct. it. Right. Yeah, but yes. April is, I mean, right. those. But that's what I'm saying. Everything from April last year. year that's sold. There's three quarters of the sales of homes that from last year that don't uh, Another apply. thing is a lot of these are not homesteads. I bet you find a lot no. of these are seasonal. Right, and there's a, they're not going to get some of, the, some of the newer ones aren't going to be homestead. Oh, a lot of the ones. Some, that, I know a lot of the camp ones have turned into that were seasonals, and now they're living there. Yeah. I also know. Yeah. I know on my plan, I, I know of some people around. who oh, have yeah. left the community. They still own their home, but I bet you they're going to show on homestead for us, and they right. don't live here. Ah, huh. some. But we'll see. So, Mike, what we were saying when you were um, perseverating over there uh, <laughs> is we were saying budgeting in 90 for that. But, I mean, I know that's not, that goes against what you were just saying. You were saying, you know, we're going to see the, those homesteads kicking in. But we, uh, last year we budgeted 110 and only came in at 102. Oh, well, you go back even further. Oh, you go back to 19. It was 84. Mm -hmm. Then we jumped mm -hmm. to 107. Then we mm -hmm. went down to 102. Mm -hmm. I think we're still in a downward. Mm. It's just I'm surprised that I could see it plateauing. I'm just surprised it would drop off a cliff like. I don't. That. I don't think it's going to drop as much as you think, though. Right. We'll see. You don't take that many. Camps. So should we? Do you want to put a number there? We I, sold a lot. Of I wouldn't go to 90. I'd okay. go. I'd go to 100. Yeah, I, I, 100 would 100. be. I mean, it, because we can't go right, up. so we're going to bet a pizza <laughs> on this. <laughs> we can't go I mean, up. Jody right, against no. Utah. Okay. Okay, so we're going to put I like that. Um, I like pepperoni and bacon. So, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know you why it's going to go below 102. What? I don't know why it's going to go below 102. No. No. Uh, you're gonna, it's going to go below. I mean, I can think of another example right on our road. Those folks aren't going to qualify this year. Correct. But they will next year. Um, same but, way as the Buku, what of the big dollar house there that sold with the year. That's not going to qualify. They now have homestead. Oh, is that right? right? Over on Hartford Lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You got quite so a few camps. I think hundreds are good. Oh. Uh, hundreds we'll safe. Okay. Hundreds safe. Yeah. I hope it's ninety. Yeah. I do too. I'd love you to buy a pizza. I think it's going to be more than 100, and like I said, I like that. So you're buying pizza if it's no. 100 or more? Right. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'll buy pizza for yeah. 100. Okay. 
It's under 100. You're bumming. But you, if you don't win, then are you just going to come in and buy us a pizza? Or <laughs> I take it off what you're already over. <laughs> that means we're done. Yeah, I'll get a hold of um, Chad in the morning and talk um, to him and see what. The other thing too we need is how much total we got and how much what? I would like to be able to see in back because this number always gets screwy every year. How much money we actually have compared to last year at the same time, the year before at the same time, and then how much we have in all of our reserve accounts. Mm, okay. Mm. All right. Because I think we got a lot of money sitting out there that. All the reserve accounts. Yes. For example, we I know we have over $100,000 in the public works equipment. I mean, and, we've, and we're selling everything that's not nailed down. Oh, there. right, so, yes. So those, and I do those have, buckets yeah. we need yeah, to start. Those buckets, yeah, yeah, I have those buckets. You're right. Yeah, yeah. 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 But you, need, you need to know what all of those buckets, buckets are. are. Yeah. yeah. You have Before. to take that total off from the total of what you got sitting right. in the whole kitty because it's all yeah. in the same bucket. Yeah. Yeah. We it's say this is where it's to right. be used, but That's right. Right. we don't have a separate bank account for this reserve or that no. reserve. No, you're right, and they are, yeah, and you need to make sure that those buckets are safe. I know what you're saying. So yeah. what I was trying to find is, where is the county? Oh, you missed it. it, was, missed it. It's, um, well, I was flipping. Yeah, I see that. It is... Look for 150. It shows 316. Up 316. Sure, I don't know what a goldfinch is, but... <laughs> <laughs> Numbers yep. are my thing. Like. <laughs> okay, the one right underneath the big. Oh yeah, yeah. It yeah. Didn't guys. get a lot of fanfare for how big it is, but. Okay. <laughs> All right, so it hasn't done anything but go up. Right. Yeah. Quite a bit. And and there's been. Okay. All right. Well, let's. And that they gave you that number. It's two they, mil. Yes. Yes, and that I should have to build. I mean, for, well, for me, when I look at this, and you look at the line above it, I, we've all, all of us as towns have done all we can do to tighten your budget. And but, I would love to see the school tighten their budget more, but when you look at their budget, they're down from 19. I mean, mm -hmm. but when you look at the county, all that does is climb. It goes in one direction. Yeah. Right. So yeah. it's, to me, looking at numbers, it's like somebody's not on the same page as what everybody else in the county right. is on. Right. And, and, and... Right. I mean, the school, like you said, has come down. Particularly if we cut these huge federal checks, I would have thought we got a little bit of, Relief. you know, take the boot off our neck. Right. But it doesn't seem to be reflecting in here at all. No. Okay. Okay. Because what that tells me is, and I'm not suggesting this isn't completely legitimate, right. but... When they don't get the huge federal check, we're going to get hammered. We're going to get hammered, right. exactly. Right. That's frightening. Yeah, unless they just spent that money on a one-time, maybe, you know, bonuses once for everybody, and we promise never to do it again. But mm. it's it's kind of a scary number for us. So. And, and you'd think that, you know, as Dale said, we've all... Everybody's tightening. Right. Everybody has. So you don't... Doing don't more with less. Right, all of right, us. Right, right. Okay. Um, are we done with the budget for now? Yes. No. Uh, new business. Contract for disposal of septic tank waste. Patterson. Patterson. It's $800 every year. We just need to... Yep. Okay. And that has not gone up? No. No, there's Same you go. Last year, didn't he? He hadn't no. gone up for the last couple of years. It's been eight hundred. Um, item B, Juneteenth holiday. Yes, um, on our the state of Maine has passed a new holiday, June nineteenth for Juneteenth, and I didn't know if we needed to add it to our personnel policy on holidays if we want to have that day off or if we. Have you not. have you had any feedback from other um, towns? Just looking. It's about 50 50. Yeah, okay. Kind of yeah. what I guess it was going to be. Yeah. Um, a lot of the, the majority of the towns that have taken it is because um, motor vehicles <clears throat> will be closed in the state of Maine. So, ah, I see how that works. Mm -hmm. You can't oh. register a vehicle. You can't bring money in on one of them. Oh, uh, that's interesting. The state's kind of crafty on this. You yes, can't. because you can't call for your MSRP and, and things like that. So, so you're so hands are tied if, you, if our office is open that day. 
Right. Is that right? If we have any issues, I mean, yeah, yeah, still, yeah. Sure. If there's any issues, you can't get a hold of anyone at the state. Right. We can't do any registration of vehicles on that day. If we stay open. You can do your straight you forward do, one, you, right? You, you re-register and things like that. It, it'd be something that you need an MSRP, like a brand new camper, or oh, okay. uh, things like that. There's okay. certain things, but yeah, we could. Okay. Uh, that's but, yeah, so it's about 50-50. The majority my, of towns in this area are, but some are. My only thing is, is we're only open four days a week. Yeah. I just really hate and what day does it fall on this year? Well, it's, an, it's on the weekend, but what the yeah. state oh, will do is they'll go to Monday, 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 Friday. Friday. Yeah. 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 Some yeah. states have actually picked a date that it will always be on, on, like the third Monday. Well, June 19th. Well. Oh, I see what see, you're saying. The, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Right. Yeah. But, but uh, I think Maine is going to do forward or backward, yeah. and many states are doing this. There's about eight states in the country that have adopted this as a... Yeah. Right. Uh, currently. Right. Uh, many in New England, actually. Hmm. I, I kind of agree with Dale. We're only open four days a week. Yeah. Anyway, uh, to, to, I just wanted to bring it yeah. sure. forward. Sure. So. And, you know, if, if next year at this time you have a strong feeling about mm -hmm. it, we'll look at it again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Perfect. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, town manager report, Maine Highlands Federal yes. Credit Union authorization. Yeah, you had already signed my authorization, but they need one more signature from somebody. Dale? Dale. Where? Right here with the blue. Perfect, thank you. Okay, road commissioner's report. And well, I already talked about the, in the budget, for a quote on the, um, yeah. So it was yeah. Yeah. Yep. a rough estimate. Yeah. Okay. Make a motion to adjourn. Oh. You have something? Oh, this the complaint? You want to address that? Okay, okay. go ahead. Well, I think we ought to put it on the tape, right? Oh, yep. Yep. Okay. 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 Yeah, we had a we had a road complaint. And you've got a copy of it, Dale. Do we yep. want to read it into the record or no? We can. I mean, we've read I mean, many I, others, I'm, right? Yep. Yes? I would say. Okay. So this um, is from, it is an email to the town manager from Dan Hall. Um, and it just says, um, well, there's a there's a site that's, what would that be? Oh, it, it, that's the other. Okay, so there's a, cited a site, um, and anyone can go to the, Maine legislature, legislature .maine gov backslash statutes backslash 23 backslash title 23 section 3 oh, SEC 3201.html. So the body of the email says they plowed one side of the road around 9 or 10 a.m. and never came back until 3 p.m. And when they did come back, they plowed the same side of the road. They only plowed the other side of the road once. That is not reasonable timing. According to information provided on the town website, they need to plow when there is two inches of snow. At 2 p.m., there was four inches of snow on one side and six inches on the other side. Neglect caused damage to my car, and the town is responsible. Please have them call me. Thank you, Dan Wall. And you have called him? I have called him once, yeah. and this yeah. okay. is pain in Okay. So when there was two inches of snow, they were out plowing. Yes. They just didn't get around in time to get... Yeah, well, there was a period there during this storm that he's referencing that we were getting, <laughs> we were getting like an inch every 15 minutes. It was really coming down. Plus, but, it was blowing. Well, then it switched over to right, rain. Right, rain, but, right. But yeah, it was, a, it was a mess. Right. But my road, our road was a pretty good shape. Yes, it was. Um... But I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. If there's any precedent of taxpayers being paying for somebody's car that gets damaged. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not I drove sure home I, in it, and I was out in my snowblower and see many other people drive down the road. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. 
I mean, six inches of snow, if I'm, as long as I don't leave the road, I, I, neither one of my vehicles would be damaged because I drove in six inches of snow. No. And that's the maximum he's alleging that took place. Um, I'm, I guess if I had a low slung sports car, maybe I could tear the muffler off in six inches of snow, maybe. I, mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, but we don't have any, we don't know what kind of vehicle it was. We don't know what the damage is. He hasn't even specified an amount. Right. No. I just don't think it's a town's responsibility. I don't think I'm we could even it. legally pay him if we wanted to. Mm -hmm. uh, so that, that's where we, that's on the record. That. Anything else? Yep, Jody's other motion's better. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Second. Quarter past five. We are adjourned.